Hi. So I'm trying to get this right with the sound and looking in the camera and I am very uh, hesitant and reluctant, but it has to be done. I need to talk to other spiritual feminines and this is a major archetype, but definitely something a lot of people are relating to at this time. I see it clear as day and a lot of what I'm seeing online, I mean in the world, is just intolerable at this point. So I'm really going to try and keep this kind and brief and that is my highest intention, but I'm struggling as much as the next person, blah blah blah. I don't want to make this about myself. I do really want this to be about the experience and about um, you and what what we can like do to to make sense of this because it's a it, it is a journey. I've been on mine for 10 years and I've gained a lot of experience and a lot of it being real life. Um, do I keep going cross-eyed? I'm like, oh, I am. I'm struggling with anxiety a little bit because I know what I'm doing by throwing this out there. I mean, it is me throwing myself to the flames and part of me has mind to invite you to roast me because that's how I'm going to grow. But I also know that I'm, I've kind of confirmed something for myself with my most recent experiences. Um, I last month quit a job in a crystal and Reiki store where I was, you know, I mean, I'm honored that I was presented with this opportunity, but also I feel very confused about what I experienced and I need to talk about it. Um, and so I'm opening up forum, basically, the comments. I want to know what, what are you doing this for? Because like, I mean, I learned very much in depth about healing and helping other people. And that is fully what is aligned for me. And that's why I'm doing this. But at the same time, I'm trying to help myself. <laughs> like, and... I have been trying for a long time and this is, it's, it's really, really, so where I'm at right now, I'm about to launch my website where I basically just have a few links. Something I'm planning on doing is free tarot card readings. Let's just go live. Let's just talk about stuff. Um, I've, I've, like I said, it's kind of in the works cultivating and honestly, I invite other feminines to do the same thing as well because not everybody's going to relate to my path. That is for sure. I am unrelatable in a lot of ways and my perspective is weird and I and I really want to shy away from the um I don't even know. I, I mean there's so many thoughts now. There's so many there's so much when all we do is cultivate negativity. It's like labels and and um, talking about relationships and not just relationships, but the divine masculine relationship as in something outside of us where I fully believe it's within everything is focused within. And this is a big part of why I don't fit in to standard society, especially as a beauty therapist. Um, I've been licensed for 10 years and I just have a lot of fingers to point and I'm going to try really hard not to, but instead I want to cultivate this positive experience of self-expression of the divine feminine. Um, and also like, who am I to pretend that I know what I'm talking about? Like, let's be honest. And so I want to collaborate. I want to pull cards. I want to grow here with you guys. I mean, it'll be simple to start all of that, of course, but we'll see. You know, I was just playing dress up today because I, I stayed up last night working on my resume. I'm about to have to go out into real life and I'm like, what am I going to do? Because I'm so turned off by the beauty industry at this point in time. I forgot I'm supposed to be looking at the camera. I don't know what I'm doing. And that's why <laughs> no. there's so much to say. But I do kind of want to leave it here. Five seems like a magical number as far as this goes because I am 
it just has to be done. It's not even that I want to do it at this point. It's that I wake up and I, I'm just, there's no reflection, there's no positive reflection around me. And I know that there's other people who feel this way. And I know that I have something to bring to the table. And if that sounds at all aligned with you, please stay tuned, maybe comment. And I mean, I need encouragement as much as you do. So that is what I'm eager to cultivate. And I mean, just for example, my space around me is, is, and and like me right now, like I'm, I'm disheveled. (laughs) I am not who I want to be. And so this is kind of like documentation, a little bit of a journey experience for all of us. Um, This chalky board, you know, I'm in, I'm in my kitchen. I'll tell you more about where I'm at honestly later, but all the pieces come together. I love my chair. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously I would love to be dazzled my microphone. I'm a mumbler. I definitely am not here to shout my opinions from the rooftop rooftops. You know, I just want to calmly and quietly live my life. But tell me why that seems almost impossible. There's no way to go out and, I mean, I've, do you know what I'm getting at? Like, we are in a game of survival right now and nobody is, nobody seems motivated or passionate in my real life, but I know there has to be people out there um, and who are boycotting their lives too. Like, is that what breaking out of the matrix is? Because... I'm capable of making money. I'm capable of having a career. And honestly, like I mentioned, the crystal shop thing, they let me, they, they encouraged, they asked me, they opened a room for me to do facials and skincare, including crystals and Reiki. Now I definitely teetered on the Reiki side. Um, but like, the day in day out like life is draining us and now that I've been off for a month I'm experiencing being able to ground whenever I need to and just the idea of going back to work is really disheartening at this time um and that's why I will not be going back to the beauty industry once again and and that's the thing I break out and I've got these experiences I've gone and worked in like a flower shop I've worked in a ice skating rink and lots of other things, but then I have to go back for money. And there's just something to be said. And so I hope that any of that sounds interesting. I hope that you will comment and let me know either what you think or like what you, what tugs at your soul strings. Like more than anything, what I was slapped in the face with was soul awareness and memories. And and, and we can get into that later, but I... I don't even know. <laughs> Let me know. Um, I hope you have a good day. And I don't know when I'll be reading the comments because it's very much like me. Just like, and then let's see what happens. Okay, talk to you later. Probably tomorrow. I don't know. Something, something soon. <laughs>